The Progressive Era The Progressive Era began in the 1880s to around the 1920s. This is when the big boom of industrialization started to happen. Frederick Winslow Taylor was a big voice in the time period of industrialization because he invented the idea of Taylorism. This is the idea of the assembly line. Taylorism paved the way for many people like Henry Ford use the assembly line to increase efficiency in their companies and increase profits. Because of industrialization, more people had to work. This made it so that kids started working in the factories and not just the adults. Many people did not like this because they felt that the kids should be staying in the classrooms and being educated. This is where the Fair Labor Standards Act came in 1938. This made it that no children under 16 could work in the factories. It was at this time where they started to realize that they needed to start promoting moral improvement. So that's just what they did. This caused the woman of the United States to promote the temperance movement. This led to prohibition, which was the ban of all alcohol. They did this because they thought that the alcohol was causing all their men to do bad things whenever they came home from work. Carry A. Nation was a radical member of the temperance movement. She was the one with the idea of prohibition. Nation is noted for attacking alcohol serving establishments, most often taverns, with a hatchet and destroying all the alcohol. She was in a group called the Women's Christian Temperance Union who are the ones that led the charge to ban the alcohol. They tried this for a while, but realized it didn't work all that well, so they got rid of Prohibition altogether just years later. Thanks for watching.